Hot, scorching hot, piping hot. What's wrong with the earth? 2024 was the hottest year on record. Governments must deliver new national climate action plan this year to limit long-term global temperatures to 1.5 degrees centigrade. All around the world, people are racing to cool down a feverish planet. And in Fujian, China's greenest province, they've come up with a special remedy. A cooling patch for the Earth. What are you doing? I'm keeping account. You might not know this, but the plants here and even the water in the river can be turning to real money. We all know that planting trees helps cool the planet and reduce carbon emissions. But did you know that rivers and lakes are also hidden carbon-cutting champions? The vegetation along the banks, the soil, the algae in the water, and even the water itself, they are all quietly storing carbon. Storing carbon is like depositing into the Earth's green bank. Through photosynthesis, these river and lake ecosystems lock away carbon, preventing it from entering the atmosphere and ultimately easing the greenhouse effect. This process is called a carbon sink. If the carbon sinks of rivers and lakes are the Earth's fixed deposits, then the people of Fujian have activated its checking account. Here, the carbon store in rivers and lakes has now become a tradable asset. Recently, the river and lake ecosystem in the upper Mingjiang River generated their first pot of gold, the country's very first river-based carbon credit transaction. Ta 它比较适合就是我们碳汇的测量碳中和的一个方式to reach peak carbon emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Since then, China has been building a unified national carbon market, encouraging broad participation in carbon sink development and trading. With a forest coverage rate of 65.12%, Fujian is a vast green carbon reservoir. From forestry and bamboo carbon sinks to today's river and lake carbon sinks, Fujian is pioneering new ways to turn its clear waters and green mountains into tangible, measurable carbon assets. I believe that under the guidance of the dual carbon goals, China's flowing rivers and lush forests are becoming gentle cooling remedies, writing the story of harmony between humans and nature.